Hey, welcome back to Phil Marriott on YouTube today. It's Boys on Film, another movie review, and Monsters and Memoirs is here. Hey, Phil. So Monsters of Men, it's been released, I think, already in the States, and it's a burning topic. You yeah. saw it this morning. I so just saw fresh. it this morning, very fresh in my mind. Um, to be honest, I really wasn't that engaged in the film. I mean, the story is about uh, a shooting in New York, uh, a shooting of an innocent black man, and yeah. uh, it tells the sort of just the viewpoint of what people think about the shooting through three different... Um, character lenses. And um, we have a bystander who's filming yeah. the shooting, so he's obviously there catching it all as yeah. it's happening. Yeah, and then it's also told through uh, the eyes of a uh, basketball player kid. Yeah. It's told through the eyes of a black cop as well. And that's a really interesting storyline as well for that character. Yeah, I would have to say that probably the most interesting storyline out of the three. I would agree with um, you. The guy who actually filmed it. He did, his storyline kind of faded about, I think, a third of the way through the film. And I was disappointed by that. Yeah, me too. I was like, it kind of felt like the movie was painting him to be the main character. Because he's the one who captured everything on film, uploaded it to YouTube. And yeah, I was quite, quite engaged. But the movie actually just shifts kind of abruptly. If you didn't know anything about the film and you didn't know that it was going to do shift like that through the three different characters, if it was just more obvious, I probably would have been like, oh, I... I enjoyed it, but it's like one minute you're watching one story and then the story changes, and then it changes again, and the film kind of ends, and I was just like, oh. One thing, like, and this is becoming a recurring theme in my movie reviews, is I cannot stand movies that don't have an ending. I had a feeling you were going to hate <laughs> the ending. <laughs> well, there was no ending. It just kind of ended. And I was like, that's it. As I was watching it, I did think, oh, I, I bet Raj is going to pick up on this in our review. Because it, it was a bizarre ending. In some ways, I liked it because it was very underplayed and made you think about stuff. But oh, I didn't get that at all. It didn't really solve just, anything. To me, it's just such a... Like, it's not even like the stories interweaved that much either. There are kind of three different standalone viewpoints. And... Yeah, for me, I was just a bit like, eh. I wish I could have enjoyed it more. I just wasn't engaged in it. What is popping your corn for this? The big things about the movie that you rated, that you liked? I mean, overall, like the cinematography and like the realness of the film, you know, f felt very authentic to me. Like, yeah. I felt like it was, you're on the streets of Brooklyn, but the actors are very good. They totally like, you know, could have been like the real people on the street, but it felt like there was no storytelling to it. It was just like, okay, well, this person sees it this way, this other person sees it another way, and this final person sees it a different way. And I was like, oh, okay. Well. So I was expecting it to be a bit more in your face and a bit more punchy. Yeah. But actually, it was really tranquil and quite. I mean, obviously, there were a lot of people who were angry. Yeah. But I never really got the sense of that. I got the sense of anger that was bubbling under. Yeah. I never really saw anything on the screen. It felt very yeah. calm. The mood. One one thing that really popped my corn <laughs> is our new is our new catchphrase now, is the scene with the uh, black cop at the dinner table with his friends. Yeah. They invite over for dinner and I guess his friend's wife really starts questioning him about oh you're a black man you know how you should be a part of the solution have something more interesting to say and he's just basically defending his job saying well if you know two bad apples do something bad doesn't make the rest of us bad apples yeah, yeah. you know and I thought that that was a really powerful scene I mean if, if you want to see like powerful filmmaking like a really powerful scene in the movie that was the scene for me that's what's going to stand out the rest of it's kind of didn't connect to it really but i was like wow and i guess everybody is different it was interesting because obviously you had the black cop who you know was was working in that environment so he felt you know a little bit differently to a lot yeah. of other people so not all people are the same are they so yeah. i think it it painted that picture quite well yeah it's quite poignant i think i mean i i found the, the ending quite poignant because we had the protest yeah so the spoilers so the downside um for me i thought the pacing was like i say unexpected but it didn't quite have that effect that some of the films that have tackled the same subjects did have yeah it might be a little bit of an unfair comparison to say this but like if bill street could talk is so much better than this like i felt like the 
two films had a bit of the same sort of message. Yeah. You know, and after just seeing, like, If Beale Street Could Talk and then seeing this, I kind of felt like, well, it just made me feel like If Beale Street Could Talk is a far superior film. Yeah, it's a very unfair comparison. It probably had a, low, a lot lower budget than If Beale Street Could Talk. But yeah. But I, th- I think, you know, if they did have budget restrictions, I think it did a good job. So, star rating. Oh, okay. It's a three for me. It's a two for me. Oh, ooh. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. So the movie is called Monsters and Men, written and directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green. It is available now, so make sure you check the links below if you want to stream it or buy it on DVD. And we'll be back for another movie review soon, so make sure you subscribe. See you soon.